Hey guys, it's Dr. Shaw. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today you're going to see me perform dimple creation surgery or dimpleplasty. Now it's an operation that's gaining in popularity. There's lots of surgeons on YouTube that uh, talk about it and show you surgical videos, but I thought I'd add mine so you can see how straightforward the operation is. Um, now some people are really lucky and they're born with uh, dimples like myself. You know, these things are like craters in my face, um, but people have always liked them. So a lot of people don't have dimples, and so this operation is great for them. Now, it's an easy operation to perform. We use local anesthetic, and we do it in the office. Um, final results do take a few months, and the risks for it overall are quite low. Um, if you have further questions about the procedure, there will be contact information at the end of the video, and we'd love to talk to you. So stay tuned and thanks for watching and if you want put some comments down below please thank you so here you see me injecting local anesthetic both externally uh, in the area that we're going to make the permanent dimple and then of course I do some injecting on the inside of the cheek so she's got complete numbness for several hours, I like to use a medication called Marcaine so that my patients are comfortable after surgery. So here I am on the inside or mucosal surface of the right cheek using a 15 blade to make a small uh, full thickness incision through the mucosa into the cheek tissues themselves. Using a pair of sharp scissors I dissect a tunnel from inside the mouth to just underneath the superficial surface of the skin of the right cheek. I want to make a nice open space for the scar to form. So now I'm passing the suture from the inside uh, to the outside of the mouth across the cheek skin and back in to create a very thick knot. Now I don't use permanent suture. I like to use large gauge absorbable suture that's very inflammatory to really stimulate a scar formation without leaving a long-term foreign body. So I like to use a 3-0 monocryl suture for this. And it's a great option. It does a really good job, as you'll see. So you're going to hear, you're actually going to see me here tying down uh, the suture, and I leave multiple knots. I want it to be a nice big mass of inflammatory stitch, and uh, as I pull on the stitch, you can see the dimples forming very, very clearly. It's the long-term scar that we for, that we leave behind that really forms the endpoint of a dimple. You don't want it to look like somebody, um, you know, has an ice pick scar in the cheek. Uh, at all times you'd like it to be a soft indentation that really shows itself when smiling so this is a great procedure for doing that
So here you see the dimple. Now it looks off, you know, obviously aggressive now, but it will soften to a more natural look over time, and then it'll be most evident when she smiles. So thanks for watching.